Well, the UConn men's basketball team is less than 24 hours from game time. The Huskies are in Dallas getting ready for their rematch with Florida, this time in the Final Four. Noah Finns arrived not long ago in Big D. He has more. Well, right now, this is the biggest stage in all of sports, the Final Four. And come tomorrow, UConn will take to this stage in their semifinal game against Florida. It's a stage that at least three guys are familiar with. Shabazz Napier, Niels Giffey, and Tyler Olander played in a national championship game three years ago when they won it. But the perhaps most important guy on the court tomorrow for the Huskies may be a guy who hasn't been there. We all know what Shabazz Napier has done, but what his backcourt mate, Ryan Boatwright, does may be the key. He really puts great pressure on the basketball. Um, I think that's one of his greatest attributes. Of course, he's an explosive player. Uh, we're trying to we're trying to teach him now that it's not all about scoring and he's starting to be more coachable, which is great. And I think that's allowing him to be a better basketball player. When I got to this level, um, I was coachable, but you know, I always had something to say back. You know, So um, I, I learned right away playing for Coach Calhoun that ain't a good thing to do. And uh, you know, I just started listening more and, and knowing that um, I, I, was, I didn't know it all and I wasn't as good as I thought I was. The Huskies spent today practicing on this court, which as you can see, is raised off the floor. A little different feel for the guys. And tomorrow, they'll be taking on Florida with a chance to play in the national championship game. In Arlington, Texas, at the NCAA Final Four, Noah Finns, News 8. Over on our website, sportsedge.com, Kells Dayton, our executive producer, has an article on Shabazz Napier, who has remained so consistent despite all the changes. There's also a slideshow of moments Napier has created as a Husky.